Hi, welcome to Robojax. In this video, we are going to use and test the laser distance meter with, made with the ST electronic chip VL53L0X. This is a tiny module that has a very tiny chip which can measure up to 2 meters with a laser beam and also it's very accurate. It can be used in robotics and can be used in obstacle detection and it has unlimited application so let's just test this device and see how this can be used with arduino i will provide all the codes and the link uh, for the code and the manual will be at the description below so this is the back side of the module as you can see here it has these pins so we have vcc we have ground so you connect five volts here it has built an internal regulator on the other side and this is the clock the signal for the clock this is signal for the data that's initializing that's a shutdown so these two can be ignored without this and this uh, can work so on this side uh, this is the actual chip okay as you can see here on the screen this is the chip actually the size of this uh, laser chip is 4.4 by 2.4 by 1 millimeter so this is 1 millimeter thickness 2.4 millimeter width and 4.4 millimeter uh, length and that is here the chip is used here these are extra circuitry to support the functionality of this one and the pins are connected so uh, it works actually with a uh, if you look here it works with a 2.8 volts but uh, the board so the operating voltage is 2.6 uh, to 3.5 volts so that is the operating voltage and this board here has a built-in regulator to adjust the voltage from 5 volts so it will accept it uh, get started with using it so it, it comes with a header I'm gonna solder it this way so when I solder this the chip will be at the top and then I can plug it this into the breadboard and connect it so let's solder this So the board has been soldered now and here are the, the pins. So I will be providing this uh, library from Palolo VL53L0X Arduino. So you click here, download it in your computer. Once the download is completed, you will uh, load. right click on the file that you downloaded. You should have zip then click extract here select this one once you do that you will have this folder here just right click and copy it and then go to your arduino folder wherever you have my arduino is here and the inside my download and then go to the libraries right click and paste it here so this way the library will be included which is this one now if I look at my Arduino here, go to file, example, and then scroll down, you will see VL53L0X here, and then select continuous. So, PCC is connected to 5 volts here, at 5 volts. And then G and D ground to the black wire, and here it is connected to the ground. So these two. And then we have cl and then da cl now i've connected to the white wire cl goes to a5 and then da sda goes to the a4 so a4 and a5 are here so this is the arduino and let me also bring the uh, connect the board so the board is now connected here as you can see the board is powered up so and here is the sensor and I am putting this computer mouse here 
so we can read the value so I'm uploading the code as you can see the code is being uploaded now upload is almost yeah upload is now completed so these are the values that you're you can see we are reading this is in millimeter all these values so if I put my hand here get it closer you will see that we are getting a very small value okay and then if I go further and if I point it to the wall you can see we are getting 81 millimeter so that's 800 and 8190 so that's 81 centimeter and if I point it to another device so if I bring my hand now I've I'm putting it up and down so you can see my hand is now it shows 20 so I, I, I hope I don't go to the wrong direction so here 300 millimeter so 30 centimeter so you can see that but now let me just put this uh, ruler and see how accurate it is so now I'm using this one now I'm just gonna put this mouse here so uh, the mouse is here a few millimeters away I'm gonna put it at uh, nine millimeters nine centimeters just so now we should read something close to 90 as you can see we are reading about 145 and so so 50 millimeters difference I don't know where does this 50 millimeter is coming but it is showing because if I do longer distance so now the ruler is there now this is 170 so 117 centimeter is 170 millimeter and we are getting now 210 so we are getting almost 50 more so I don't know why where this discrepancy ca is coming from but it's supposed to uh, work so now let me just make some changes here okay now let me explain the code from the top this is the h dot wire that's for communication this is the header file for the um, sensor and this is now they are creating a object called sensor from this header file that you see here and then the serial port is initialized with 900 and 9600 baud and then it says wire dot begin so that wire also should begin and then sensor dot initial so that initializes and then set timeout for 500 so if and then start continuous so this is you don't do anything you don't make any changes here at the bottom of the code I made some changes so this function sensor dot read range continuous millimeter this is a method that gets the distance and I'm storing it into integer and creating it as I'm storing it into distance as an integer so this distance is my new variable then I print distance this is a text and then I print here distance that variable that I just created above and then after that I print millimeter this if sensor continuous timeout occurs it says timeout if it cannot read it or some delays within the chip it should just exit and then it, this one prints new line so now let me upload this code now you can see my code is working here and it prints if I if I put a hard object here exactly at this distance I should get 150 now I am getting 200 so this has 50 millimeters more so one way to fix that is this distance that you see here we can say uh, 
distance is equal distance minus 50 so if I do that and then upload it so this is at 150 exactly here this sheet of paper I'm just putting it make sure so now we are getting 155 so maybe we need to because this is exact and I'm putting it exact position I'm reading at 155 so let me subtract 55 and then upload it again now now we are reading 151 millimeter which is very very accurate so this way you can adjust and fix the value so this was how you can use this uh, laser laser distance meter if you like the video please thumb up and also please don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching